So hello everyone, it is your girl Jail Beauty 87 here, AK Grace, and today I am so excited because I went and got my hand on the new Huda Beauty Wild Obsession Palettes. Now, that's the four of them, they have three of the four that's available, so the one that's missing is Jag, I'm sorry, the one that's missing is Tiger. I'll try to pop a picture up here to let you see it, and I wanted to compare it to the new Toffee Browns palette that she just came out with, so I'm going to show you this one, and I'm going to pop the picture up above of the one that, um, that they don't have at Sephora, so it's close in. So this is what this one looks like. So unfortunately, we can't do a comparison side by side because Sephora doesn't have both of them in the back on up real quick. But these palettes retail for $29 a piece. I was about to go on Sephora's website now because I went in the store and picked mine up because I was just that thirsty. Yes, yes, I was. And I do it again. I'm not ashamed. Um, but yeah, so I have Jaguar, Chameleon, and of course, Python, because Python was the one I was most excited about. When we see the inside, we all will know why. Anyway, I'm going to read the description of these little $29 a piece palettes. So, it says, a highly pigmented mini eyeshadow palette featuring nine velvety complementary hues and five delectable finishes to suit every taste and occasion. This palette is cruelty free. The nine shades in this palette have luxe, innovative textures, and look unreal on everyone from suede soft mattes to complementary metallics, sparkly and foiled, to one never before seen multi reflective 3D, what, obsessed python print. Sorry, embossed python print. The creamy mattes blend seamlessly, the semi sheer metallics add extra glam, and the high dramatic foil sorry high drama foil metallics bring killer dimension versatile super buildable and easily blendable the formula applies like a dream with minimal fallout whether you use a brush or your fingers and then it tells you what each palette has as far as shades go but you'll clearly see the shades when i you know show them so i should bring up the highlighter palette too because we're gonna try that out today that's why my face isn't fully done so let me go ahead and pull that up as well the new highlighter palette she just came out with i have the bronzer on as well you all know that um oh here it is the oh the mini highlighter palette is 29 dollars as well of course i have the shade rich for tan to rich skin tones and it retails for 29 dollars as well this is a highly pigmented mini face palette that features four flattering shades to blush Low light and highlight your way to a glow at sorry a golden hour glow. This palette uses a creamy yet lightweight texture that blends seamlessly upon application to create a subtle sheen or a defined dewy shimmer to what is it accentuate your key features. These non powdery shades are ultra wearable and buildable and can be. Use whether you want a summer glow, including face, lips, lids, and decollete. The palette is also packed with vitamin E and up to 50% ultra-fine pearls, so you'll be left with a radiant, healthy-looking complexion. For the glow-getters, these palettes are travel sized with a compact mirror, beautifully packed in a convertible metal exterior that is as luxe as the product inside. All that just for highlighter. I have on the illuminating foundation, the new one that she just came out with too, along with, like I said, the um, glowish bronzer. So let's show you what the inside of the highlighter palette looks like. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, I'm gonna show you the old one so you can see a difference. So this is the old one versus the new one. As you can see, they're quite smaller. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them real quick. I just wanna see if the colors in this old one are the same as the colors in the new one so i'm swatching the new one first and i'm swatching the old one so they have a cream they're cream to powder so new old i feel like the cream in the old one is more pigmented but maybe it's just me then that's the old one so i just swatch both the old ones next to each other so this is the first shade of the old ones versus the new one so this is the new one in front as you can see it's not as pigmented as the older ones but you know Whatever, that's fine. Some people don't want that much pigmentation, so take this new one now. So I feel like the formula is somewhat similar. The new one just seems to be a little bit more creamier. That's the second shade. This is the new palette. This is the old palette. Again, I feel like the pigmentation of the old one 
is better than that of the new one. It just seems to be like a little bit creamier and thicker. The only difference is these are cream to powder and I feel like the other ones will automatically like cream. So I'm swatch the last two cream shades from the original. Yeah, it just seems like she went a little bit more subtle with the newer palette versus the older palette because these are the last three at the back and I feel like, again, this dark one from the older palette is lighter than the new one. So y'all know I normally like to put the lighter shade toward the middle of my face and then on the outer parts of my cheekbones I like to put the darker shade because I feel like that just melts into my skin better. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to start off with the old one. So I'm going to put the old one on this side and we'll put the new one on this side. Okay. Let's start off. And then I'll finally get into the palettes. Because, like I said, I'm going to compare the Jaguar to this one right now. I'm not going to actually do a whole comparison in this video. I'm sorry. I should probably bring it back. There you go. So, I'm going to put two layers on each side, as you just saw, since I dipped, just dipped into this one again. And down the middle of my face, I think I'll just go ahead and put the new one. Because we're going to try to split half and half with the gold shade. So, this is what the old formula looks like. As you can see, it's a nice, simple, subtle glow from within. But in the old one, she has the cream that you're supposed to use with it to make it... Work. So I'm going to take that darker shade, which is this one right here. If it'll focus. The last one right there. We're going to take that one and put it on this side. That's weird because on the fifth, I feel like the new one is more pigmented than the old. But when I swatched it, the old one doesn't swatch. Sorry, the new one doesn't swatch. It's pigmented as the old one. As you can see, that's the new side. And that's the old side. So I feel like they look about the same. I just feel like I'm getting a little bit more pigmentation from the new side. So there's that. Okay, y'all. So now we're going to take the gold shade, this one right here at the top. That one right there. And then we're going to put that toward the middle of the face. I'm going to just turn the brush to the opposite side and go ahead and do that real quick. I told y'all I was just going to use a new one toward the middle of the face. Just because I'm like, you know, since the video is supposed to be on the new one, I just wanted you to see how the new one compares to the old one on the actual skin. Since I still had my old one versus with my new one. It's one of the reasons YouTubers wear makeup for things such as this. So again, this is the old side. This is the new side. I feel like the new side is just a little bit more pigmented, but it looks more glossy from within. Whereas I feel like this one just looks a little less, a little more subtle. But, you know, whatever. Um, I like the fact that she made them much smaller. Because you can see this old one is huge. But this one costs a lot more too. So you probably got more product in this one than you do in this one, of course. Because it's so much bigger versus this one. So, matter of fact, let's read it just to be sure. This is um, 0 0.22 ounces. And does it say what size this one is? I don't see the size on this one. I probably just looked over. Oh, it says the uh, melted cream is 0 0.21 ounces. And the three powders are 0 0.28 ounces. So I was right. You get more in that one. But it is bigger, so you should get more. Now let's get into these palettes. So back you up just a little bit there. Okay. We'll start off with this Jaguar one. Um, this is the more smoky, neutralish, purplish one of them. This is what it looks like. And I want to compare it to my... Smoky Obsession. So this is what both of them look like. And I'm just doing this at the beginning of the video because y'all know I'll have to get and then you won't like get this part in here at all. But I'm going to try to do it on Instagram too just in case people don't get to watch the video or don't watch the video. But this is what they both look like side by side. I feel like they look somewhat similar. I feel like she just added like a pop of purple to this one and made the like neutralish tone in here more like purple undertone instead of smoky like this one originally is. But I feel like if you have it, you don't necessarily need to get this one because if you have the um purple with the amethyst obsessions and then you have this one i don't feel like you would need to get this one but let's try it out and see because that special dual chromy shade might be worth it the next one i have is the chameleon so looking at this one this one kind of reminds me of a one i have here hold on a younger sister but you see it has some of the similar tones in it so i'm like mm -hmm, okay so then like to me this is like a mixture of new nudes and this palette right here and then they just picked one of the shades from the amethyst obsessions palette again so that's interesting there and the last one i have this to me is the most unique one i'm still gonna put it up against the neon um 
greens when I get home but to me this was the most unique color story out of all of them and when you think about it this is just seems like the sapphire obsessions mixed with the um what is it the emerald obsession so it seems like she combined those and then she took that yellow orange I'm sorry that yellow greeny shade out of the neon um greens palette and and that's how this palette came to exist in my personal opinion that's what I think about when I think of this one but I decluttered my green one I never bought the blue one believe it or not and then um like I showed you I'll show you all the neon obsession at home so now that we've got all of that out the way the comparison we're gonna finally get to putting these on the eyes so I'm gonna go off camera and start with the a jaguar palette and I'm thinking about um using the smoky obsessions on one eye before I start and then just coming on camera and um, recreating that look, which I think is what we'll do so that way you can get an idea of if these are close enough to where you don't need this one if you still have this one in your collection. So we're going to start off with this one just so I can do the comparison and then I will be right back. Okay. Okay. Okay, y'all. So I've returned with an eye done and have primed the other eye off camera. These are the swatch comparisons. I feel like they look really similar. I'm trying to put a close in my two like Lily does. The little living life that is. I feel like they're really similar in comparison for the most part. Like, have you noticed the blacks look the same? I had to swatch the other deeper shade over here. But you notice that deep shade in here just looks like this deep shade. And this deep shade looks like this one. Only difference I see is really the golds. And then, like, um, the dust over shades. And obviously the purples because there is no purple in here. But otherwise, all the shades to me look similar enough to where you don't necessarily need to pattern. Let's just see how they look on the eye. Okay. Let's zoom you on. Oh, on my lips, I have one um, with the July by um, Artist Couture. I've really been loving that color. If you all haven't noticed, I wear that one the most out of all the ones I bought from his birthday collection. I like that one. And then my second one is, I think, A Moment. And Highly Favorite is the one I use the least. I've literally only used that one once. So let's see how this black compares to the other black. Because I feel like the blacks I'm really looking at wasn't looking that deep in pigment when I first used it. But I think it's because I put the dark brown next to it. Oh, hold on, y'all. Okay, so black looking pretty even on both sides as far as like the coloring goes it's just when i when i add the brown shade i feel like that's when it um changes and it's not as um i guess opaque or it blends in too close to the brown shades that she added to the palette which you know sometimes happens so now i'm just take the darker brown like i did on the other side and blend those together now you see what i'm talking about because when i blend it over to the end right here i feel like that's when it starts looking like the black isn't as deep as it is because the brown is so deep. I know that's what happened on this side. On this side, I'm seeing that the brown isn't as deep as the original Smoky palette, or at least in my opinion, it's not. Or maybe that's why it doesn't look that way to me. But that's the way it looked when I did the other side. I had to go back in with the black because I felt like it wasn't looking as black and pigmented as I wanted to in the way it initially did when we put it on on its own. But this is what we're looking like so far with that side. And I'm going to take my um, clean brush and go ahead and what shade did I dip into? I'm going to dip into the lightest shade which is lighter than the original lightest shade in the palette so just be advised that they're not going to look exactly the same on both sides I don't think anyway. I feel like this side is going to look a little bit lighter just because the shade is a little bit lighter than the other one but you know. I feel it's important to compare them though because I'm like I don't want you going out and spending 30 bucks if you already spent 25 on the original one in the past. And you can get the same exact look. Now, again, you're not going to get those purples that I swatched on my arm. You're not going to get those. They're not going to be the same. Because there's no purples in that one. But if you have the amethyst one, you might not need to get it. That's why, like I said, I felt this was important. So now let's put the gold shade all over the lid. And then we'll put one of these silvers in the inner corner. The only thing is the silver in this palette is a topper. Whereas the silver in the Smoky Obsessions is not. And as you can see, the gold in here are two completely different shades. And to me, this, again, seems more topper-esque, whereas the other one seems like more foily metallic. But it said it was like five different um, finishes in this little palette that we're using now. So, in each one of them. So, I'm like, okay. Y'all, I'm so hungry. Like, after I shoot this part, I might have to go eat lunch and then come back and do, like, the other two eye looks. Because I'm telling you, like, I have not eaten all day. Only a bowl of cereal ate something this morning. It's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And I really didn't eat that much for dinner yesterday, so I'm just over here like, yeah, I need some, like, real food. That's I pass out. But as you can see, this is definitely more sparkly and glittery. Reflective as this is just more of a true, simple metallic. Now, because I'm going to, well, I'm going to dust over this just one more time. I didn't add any additional product. I'm just dusting with the brush. 
the way it is already. Now we're gonna go into the metallic silverish pewter looking shade and put that in the inner corner on this eye. I might mix both of them together. Okay, now it looks like this one would be good enough. As you can see, it's more shimmery and reflective. Excuse me. So this is the original silver and this is the new one along with the new eye. I feel like they look pretty close in tone. Other than, like I said, the fact that this is more glittery, sparkly, topper s shade. And this is more of a metallic. Otherwise, I feel like the blacks look the same. I feel like the browns look the same. I even feel like the shade you dusted over the top looks just about the same. Like I said, this eye is a little bit lighter. So if you already have the um, Smoky Obsessions palette, I don't know that you necessarily need this one. Because like I showed you, it only had a couple extra shades. Like these purples right here in the back of my arm. Those are the only extra shades that they have that will make it special in my personal opinion. And this random black shade, that's the marble silverish black shade that they have. But otherwise, as we see the first half of my hand right here, pretty much looks about the same. See, if I turn my hand like that, you see that's that mauvish looking shade and looks really similar to that brown shade that I showed you also. From this part of my hand on, all the original shades from the um, Smoky Obsessions to me look about the same. The only thing she added was some purples. And since this got discontinued so long ago, I guess she was banking on people still not having it. And just going ahead and purchasing this one just because she added pops of purple. But in my opinion, they're the same. If you already have this one, I don't know if you need to buy this one. Especially, like I said, if you had Amethyst um, Obsession. Anyway, I'm going to go take some look at me after I'm sexy pictures. I'm going to go get some lunch. And then we're going to get into the Chameleon palette. And then lastly, the python, because that's the one I'm most excited for. So, I'll see you in a minute, girl. Okay? Okay, okay y'all. So, this is the look we got for number two. I used all these shades on my hand. I just didn't swatch the gold. Let me swatch that right now for you. That's what we put in the inner corner. Oh, and I forgot to swatch the one I added to the very front of the eye. So, my bad. I forgot to swatch a couple. Hold, please. Okay, so these are all the shades we have on my eyes right now. Let's go ahead and get started. So I use my eyeshadow differently than I normally do. Also, random side note, I noticed that the only shades that are similar in here are like these colorful like matte shades. There's only a couple of them like this one right here and this one right here. Those are the only two that really correlate with the other palette. I'm sorry, with the um, palette we're using now, which is the Chameleon one. So we can scratch that as a do. Anyway, so back to what I was going to do. So I'm trying to... um. I'm trying a new method today of putting my eyeshadow. I'm trying it the way, um, was it Tammy Clark or Makeup by Tammy and my girl KK, aka Colorful Camille, do their eyeshadow, which is you put the crease shade on first, then you, um, do your outer V and then you do your, um, well, I mean, I guess this is a, um, you do another crease shade and then you do like, your lid shade, so I was, like, I'll try out a different way of doing my eyeshadow to see if it makes a difference to me. I don't really see too much of a difference other than I feel like I brought my eyeshadow color way higher than I normally do because I started with a fluffier brush for the top. But, I mean, I'm not opposed to it. It's just, it's not something I normally do, so I'm just kind of like, eh. And I'm present with fear of change, so I'm just like, the fact that I did it some differently, I'm just like, oh, no. I'm going to mess up my whole routine now. I'm going to take that darker shade. The darker shade in the palette and start on my outer V. I'm trying to get down for Asian Game Over and his granddad get here because I'm like I don't want to have to stop in the middle of filming to open the door and then come back to finish this eyelid. And then I'm here mommy 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 and all this stuff and mommy when can we go home and mommy I'm hungry and all that type of stuff. So I'm trying to get at least two eye looks done so that way once my dad gets here we can finish what we need to finish and I will um do um the third eye look with Agent Game Over and I here and then we will go home and I'm hoping I can edit it while he's eating dinner and then can go up tonight because I wanted to go up today for sure even if it does take to like later than I wanted to but I had to go to school and pick up um, his packet for school and they didn't want to do it till 11 30 and the store doesn't open till 11 o'clock so now I'm taking the second darkest shade and putting it in the crease so I was just like ugh like everyone's trying to sabotage me then whenever i try to take pictures on my phone my eye looks then my camera starts acting stupid and i have to deal with all that i don't know it starts doing this random flickering thing y'all it'll be black for a few seconds then it'll come back and it'll be black for a few seconds and it comes back it only does that when i take product shots when i take actual pictures like of myself in the um front where camera is fine 
But it's like, doesn't help me with product shots because it's like, I'm not, you know, gonna be taking product shots like that, obviously, so. I guess I see why they do it this way because I feel like I can get more depth in the inner corner then you have to worry about dusting back over because you're putting that color in after the fact. But I still prefer to do it the way that I do it, so I'm gonna probably do it that way, but I want to try something different for the video since I feel like I always do the same thing. I'm gonna take that dark purple. I start on the outer V of the eye. I think I took it into about like right here. So close to halfway on the lid. And after that, I took the marble shade. That was what that red shade was swatched in front of my hand. And put that on top. So I started like right there on top to blend them in nicely. Get a nice blended look. And then I put it on top and went from there. So I'm like. I like what that looks. Put a little bit more of the dark purple back here just a tad. Okay. So now I took a pencil brush, my Sigma E40, and just went in with that last shade I swatched on the end of my hand and put it like right up in here and blended it into this one. So you have a nice, you know, lit from within look or a nice shimmer gradient. And it sounds like Adrian Game Over is here, so let me hurry up. I got this gold shade that we're going to put in the inner corner. And that completes this eye look. So how about that? I got done just in time before they got here. So I'm going to come back with the third one in a while because it's definitely going to be a while. And that'll be the python. And then we'll wrap up my thoughts on all these palettes and how I felt about them. Okay? Okay. Okay, y'all. So I've returned with the last eye look. Sorry about the noise you're hearing outside. The motorcycle side is going to be on the street when I started. So we're in the last eye. It's my favorite one. So I basically just took these two rows worth of tones and this shimmer to put in the inner corner and that's what's going on in my eye so let me go ahead and prime real quick because i forgot to do the looks i've been taking like a transition shade and putting it on first so i'm gonna take this nice peachy transition shade and put it on first y'all don't know the struggle it's been trying to get this um video shot i didn't get to go pick up the stuff till like almost one o'clock i had to go to asian game over school and pick up his um packet for school which started my day off late then i ended up getting a headache while i was here while i was trying to film which is a whole thing like y'all it's so much going on here so i'm going to take this home edit it and hopefully you all will see it at seven o'clock tonight because it's almost five now so i'm like oh yes yeah, so you can blend this out nice and cute and whatever you see i put the mint color on the lower left side to save time and i used the um I let girl mint pencil in my waterline to get things going. I need to add back to the edge of this though now that we put the primer on. Put on a connect it. Plus I don't want to wipe the streak of primer on the side of my eye. So there we go. Now we're gonna get into the yellow shade. So I just put the orangish yellow shade that looks similar to the shade in the um what palette is that? The obsessions um, it's obsessions green in the crease here. I started off by stamping it. I try to build up the color and then blend it out. Tap it over. I like to get my video up earlier, but it's you know crunch time is so I gotta just you know the best I can. So blend it out on this brush real quick. But I want to get this edited and done so in that way you all can see it today and make an educated decision before you order from Hooters website. And then I just put like the three shimmers on the lid. And so that's looking pretty good. I'm going to take this clean brush and just kind of blend both these colors together. It's somewhat clean. The only thing is like I blended it again when the glitter was in there, so now it's like glitter in my crease now. But that's fine, whatever. Um, I'm gonna start off with the darker shade, which is the one with the python effect on it. And I started toward the back of the eye with this one, so we're gonna start with this one back here. 
and to me these are more like top or S shades they're not necessarily like just regular satin shimmers you can put on with so I started off with this one at the back because it's the darkest of course and then I'm gonna go in with the second darkest blue shade toward the middle of the eye like this which is more pigmented And then I'm going with that like lime screen shade towards the front of the eye. Let's go. Uh, so that's pretty much the finished eye look. Let's go ahead and put the inner corner color in, which is this shade right here so what i did was this one the one we put on the back this is the one we put toward the middle that's the one that's on the front and this is the one we're gonna put in the inner corner then we will zoom out and talk about my thoughts because i got fit as usual so, my inner corner color is in there okay yeah there we go zoom it out let's talk it out girl okay 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 y'all so my final thoughts um so We'll start with the one that's on my eyes now, and then we're all the way back. So, um, I feel like I like the color story of this one the best. Not necessarily shimmers in it, but that's because there mainly seem to be topper shimmers in here. That's why I'm not super excited about it. However, this does remind me of the Lush Life palette from Colourpop. If you all look closely, now it doesn't have that bright green in it. But I feel like it has a lot of other tones in it that are really similar. So if you have this one, you might not want to get this one. I do like the shimmers in this one better though, and I feel like they would complement the palette that I'm holding my hand nicely. So to me, they're going to be complementary palettes to each other, but if you want my preference, I prefer this one when it comes to the mattes. I feel like they're just more opaque and um, pigmented, whereas I feel like these are a little bit lighter. But if you're like light to medium or fair, I feel like this one will work better for you. If you're my skin tone, I figure you'll prefer this one because it gives you more pigmentation in the mattes. But then again, you might just want to use a more pigmented... Um, we call it base. I also have the Wilderness palette, so I'll show that against this one to see if you think they look similar. I feel like they're somewhat similar, not as close as the ColourPop one is, so this is what both of those look like. So I already have similar palettes in my collection, so this isn't something I necessarily need. If you have both of these, you might not necessarily need them. I'll try to remember to put these on Instagram. I already took pictures of another one that we're going to talk about comparing to um, another one that's actually made by Wilderness, so she over here duping herself again. So I'm going to have to do another... Um, what is it called? Dupe video. But yeah, there was these two. Or I can start brands to dupe themselves video. Because I felt like she definitely duped herself for that. I'm like, girl, what you, why are you duping yourself? You supposed to be duping other people, not yourself. Somebody tell her. Who gonna tell her? I guess I just did. Never mind. Um, the next one I have is the Chameleon. Actually, believe it or not, this one is my favorite one. I didn't think I was gonna like the Chameleon that much because as you can see, it's more warm tone. But I think because the colors in this one on my eyes are so soft is why I like this one. The best because I feel like this had the most pigmented colors. Of course, I already have stuff like this in my collection. Not necessarily from Huda, but I do already have things like this in my collection. This purple to me just looks like one that might be in the Amethyst palette. I will swatch for you all when I get home just to make sure and see that it's not. But overall, the color story seems like it's like two or three Huda palettes just combined into one palette. Like I see it as this neon orange I just showed you all in the beginning mixed with the nude rich and the... um amethyst palette because of that shade right there and because of this shade right here and some of the mattes but you know it's cute it's nice it is my favorite out of all of the ones i um used today as far as like the pigmentation of the color story and then of course don't waste your money if you already got this one do not waste your money on this jaguar one i wish i had the um what is it the um tiger one to compare to the toffee browns but like i said they didn't have them but look at this like y'all you don't really need this do you really need that pop of purple in the middle and that um this darker creamier black metallic shade no no you do not if you already have this sis do not waste your money on this you've seen the swatches on camera you will see the swatches on my instagram do not waste your money on jaguar if you already own the original smoky obsessions from hooda just because she just continued like two or three years ago does not mean you need to run out and get this one because they are exactly the same you saw they worked exactly the same and i've had mine for um 
the time it came out because I bought it when it came out and it still works just fine. So if you want to pop purple sis, go get the lilac palette. She had a 60% off sale. Get the lilac palette. You'll have the pops of purple that's in here and then you'll have um, the smoky tones that go with it. Or better yet, you can just, um, you probably have other palettes in your collection that are already smoky. So don't waste your money on that. So, those are my thoughts on all the palettes. If I had to rank them, um, believe it or not, it would be the Chameleon first, the Python that's on my eyes now second, and then the Jaguar last. Because like I said, we can't compare Tiger because Tiger is an S4. It's, uh, apparently, it's only on her website. And I think I saw it on Cold Beauty, which I don't understand because it's like, why wouldn't Sephora have it too? I don't know. Anyway, those are my thoughts. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember y'all the dimes. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.